guys, Melissa here. I'm really, really excited today to make some kale chips. Finally, I've been seeing these all over. I've been hearing great things about them. And now that I finally have my dehydrator, I can make some of my very own. So I'm not following a particular recipe. There's really no rhyme or reason. I'm kind of just looked at a bunch of different recipes and kind of just put together my own. Um, I'm really not using measurements. I hope it turns out okay, but I'm very, very, very excited to use my Nine Tray Excalibur food dehydrator. Really, really excited about it. And uh, I'll definitely show you guys the process and, um, and how they turn out. So, really, really excited. <laughs> So the first step is getting the fibrous stem away from the kale and you just pull away. It's real easy to take it off. You hold the stem with one hand and just kind of pull away with the other hand. Once we get that stem out, I'm just going to rip it in about maybe three inch pieces. That way they'll be nice size after they're done dehydrating. So I'm just going to wash this really, really good and then dry it up really, really good. I'll probably wash it maybe twice or three times. And then I'll dry it really, really well. And then I'll go ahead and, um, and finish the rest of this. And then it's time to make the sauce. So I've got about one and a half green peppers here. I'm going to chop up and throw into the blender about half of a red pepper, four cloves of garlic, and about a third cup of onion. So I'm just going to chop these up and throw them in the blender. So I've got the pepper, the onion, and the garlic. And I just, I just grated the garlic in there. To that, I'm going to add the juice of a whole lemon. And I just really wanted to try it for my first sauce, just a nut-free sauce. So I'm just kind of throwing in ingredients on a whim, not really following a recipe. We got the juice of a whole lemon. Smells delicious. I love lemons. And I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil. A little bit of fat in there. Got two cups of water. And I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic powder. Some basil, black pepper. I like a lot of black pepper. This is almost out, so it's not coming up very fast. Throw in a little bit that's already grated. And some Hungarian paprika, just a little bit. Some pink sea salt. Just just a little bit and just a little bit of chili powder just a little bit and some onion powder a little and I'm also going to do I've never used the um, the nutritional yeast before so this is the first time I've ever tried it and I'm definitely looking forward to how it's going to taste and I'm going to put four tablespoons in and so yep so there is my sauce I'm pretty sure it'll taste good so I'm gonna blend this up and show you guys what I end up with so I gave it a little taste and I'm gonna add just a little bit more uh, nutritional yeast and some more black pepper and just a little bit more uh, chili powder then I think I'll be pretty set. Looks good. I'm going to blend this up and then mix it with my kale. So I've got some clean kale here and I've got the sauce. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour some over. And I'm just going to mix it really, really well and make sure all the kale is covered nice and good. And then once it's all covered really good with the sauce, 
I'm just gonna take them and lay them out really, really nicely on my sheet and I'll show you that in just a second. So I just took the kale and I massaged the dressing right into the kale leaves. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of pink salt on it. Just a little bit. Just to give it a little extra. And I'm using the pink salt. And I'm also gonna sprinkle just a couple of extra flakes of nutritional yeast, just very, very lightly. Just to hopefully give it a little extra uh, cheesy flavor, a little extra vitamin B12, and uh, some added flavor. So we got that. And now I'm gonna throw them in the dehydrator. So I've got the third tray ready and I'm just gonna put those in, swing on the top. And I am gonna set it 14 hours on about 105. Yep, I'm gonna try it on 105. That's caliber nine tray dehydrator. I've got three trays in there to start. And I will finish the rest of the kale and get those in there. And hopefully in the morning we'll have some kale chips. So I'm on the third batch. I've got the kale, it's all rinsed and, uh, and dried for the most part. And I've got about a third of the dressing left. I'm just gonna pour it over. Get all of it on there. And then what I'll do is I'll just massage it and get it nice and covered really, really well. And I'll probably do this for at least about five minutes or so and just kinda, kinda marinate the kale in there and the sauce. So I'm just going to keep massaging it and marinating it in the sauce. So again, I've got some pink salt. I'm just going to sprinkle a little pink salt on here. And again, a little bit of nutritional yeast. Just a little bit. Coat it quite a bit. And over here. And I've got the dehydrator kind of overstuffed, but I think I'm going to add these anyways. Let me go open it up. Well, I know the lighting is kind of bad, but it is kind of overstuffed, but I'm going to add them anyways. Got them on here pretty loosely. So I'm going to, hopefully they don't fit. Now they're kind of getting stuffed in there. Smells like peppers. Smells delicious. And I'm going to put one here on the bottom. That one went in there pretty well. So again, I've got it on 105 for 14 hours and I'll check it tomorrow morning and see how we're doing. Kale chips, my first attempt at kale chips. And now I've got all these kale stems for juice in the morning. This is an awesome amount to add. So I'm gonna add all these to my juice in the morning. I'm so excited to juice these. No waste here. So the kale chips have been going all night. Take a look at them. Mmm, they look done. They're pretty crunchy. Come here boys and try one. They are crunchy. Careful. They're really crunchy. They do taste like Slim Jims. Mmm. Mmm. I can taste the pepper and green peppers in there and cheese and mmm. These kind of taste like pizza. It tastes a lot like pizza. This turned out really, really well. Really well. So I did end up overfilling it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trays total. And they still turn out really good. Here's a tray that kind of got stuffed in there and they're all dehydrated very, very nicely. And I'm just gonna take them and store them in the glass jars. That way they store nice for me and uh, 
I'll be able to eat these at a later time, probably when I have a craving for pizza. Because these, these honestly taste just like pizza. Mm-hmm. It's so good. So, I'm very excited to make this recipe. I put it in last night. I know it's morning. I'm just completely done. I'm ready. And, uh, yep. So definitely thanks to Excalibur Food Dehydrator. And uh, there'll be a full review coming soon. Yeah.